And now the latest across the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for October the 5th. Well, this evening we only have one active tropical cyclone, that being, of course, Hurricane Sam, still going as a hurricane far north now, likes to become an extratropical system soon. And we have the remnants of Shaheen over portions of Oman. It's day 278 of 2021, and so far we've had 77 storms form. It's likely that that number will rise, potentially up to 80, as we end the week this week. In the Atlantic on day 127 of hurricane season, we have a 10% area of interest here, heading into a formation area off the southeast coast. Not really too likely to develop, but it is something to monitor if you're on the southeast coast. And of course, we do have Sam, as I mentioned, far north now expected to turn extra tropical within the next 12 hours. In Eastern Pacific on day 143 of hurricane season, we're getting near to the end of hurricane seasons in the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific. We do have an area of interest here, 20% as models are depicting towards the latter part of the five-day period we could see some formation We'll see if they hold on to that truth or if they back off on it like they did with our past two invests in the Western Pacific We have more red here. We have invests 92 and 93 W both likely to form within the next few days and a new area of interest east of the Mariana Islands is brand new tonight, 20% chance on this right now. Models are starting to pick up on the potential for formation towards the end of the five day period. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. In the Indian Ocean, there are no other areas of interest other than, of course, Shaheen, which made a cyclone landfall in Oman. Um, but moving to the Southwest Indian Ocean, there is an area of interest here in Best 91S, 30% as this one moves generally southwest. And as you probably could tell on our main channel, we are getting those animations out finally. And we'll have hopefully the, all of those animations out by the end of this month. Moving to the satellite imagery, we can see how quick Sam is moving northward. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this is extra tropical in a few hours. And you can see some thunderstorm activity associated with our next area of interest in the Atlantic. Again, not too likely to form, but there is that possibility for some heavy rainfall, especially along the coastlines there. And you can just barely see the remnants of what was Victor. In the Eastern Pacific, there's not much going on here at all. Just some general thunderstorm activity throughout the Pacific Ocean. We'll be watching uh, towards the eastern side of our screen as we head towards the end of the five day period for potential formation, as I mentioned. In the Western Pacific, it's a different story here. We have a, lo a load of uh, thunderstorm activity here associated with um, Invest 92 and 93W. Again, both are likely to form. Uh, models have backed off a bit on the peak intensity of 92W, but nonetheless, a significant rain threat, I'd say, at least for China. In the Northern Indian Ocean, we have some general thunderstorm activity across India and in the Indian Ocean, and you can just barely see the remnants of Shaheen there, again, over portions of Oman. And in the South Pacific, you can see 91S there, not looking too great in the latest frames. It's looking less and less likely that this one's gonna form, but the chance is still there for an early season storm out of this one. The season of temperatures for East Pack AOI is quite favorable. Looks like if environmental conditions are favorable, we could definitely see a system form from that and get to potentially significant strength in the Atlantic. We're uh, generally warm in the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean and main development region. If you look north of there, you can see the upwelling from Larry, Still, Sam, even Victor if you look towards the eastern Atlantic Ocean. In the Indian Ocean, or um, our invest in the South Indian Ocean, generally looking warm, although sea surface temperatures are only getting cooler as it heads further south. And in the uh, Western Pacific, you can see the cool pool from Mindul, but Something really concerning to me is where all of our invests are, or areas of interest are, piping hot sea surface temperatures 29 to 30 degrees Celsius with some pockets of 31 degrees Celsius. In the uh, anomalies, the Indian Ocean, generally above average. Western Pacific, generally above average, except for where Mindul was. Central Pacific, near to below average. We're looking more below average here, actually. In the Eastern Pacific, we're generally above average. And in the Atlantic, you can really start to see Victor's cool pool there um, on this map. But you can really see 
where Sam tracked and there is still a, a bit of a remnant of Larry's cool pull there. So the Atlantic is still piping hot, unfortunately, in places that we typically look for in the Caribbean, those being the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean. In the On This Day section for today, we have the main feature being Typhoon Dan of 1999, which was a Category 3 on this day on the Sapper Simpson scale, moving into Luzon in the Philippines. It was Pepang Philippine name, by the way. And in the Atlantic, we had Tropical Depression 11. Of course, later in the season in the Atlantic, we had the well-known wrong way Lenny, but at this time in the Atlantic and elsewhere across the world, it was fairly quiet. Again, this is uh, brought to you by the Cyclone History page on Twitter. I do recommend that you all follow that page as this stuff is really interesting to, to uh, learn about, especially Dan. I did not know until this on this day that Dan was making landfall on this day. Getting to the on, not the on this day, this is the naming list. The next names in the Atlantic Basin are Wanda, followed by Adria. Will we get to the auxiliary list? I'm thinking we're more likely than not to at this point. In the Eastern Pacific, the next two names are Pamela, followed by Rick. And in the Central Pacific, while there's a smile in every Hershey's bar, there's not many smiles in Central Pacific fans as Hone has yet to form in 2021, and I don't think we're going to get it this year. Maybe Hone 2022? In the Western Pacific, it's looking more and more likely that we'll see some names ticked off of this list. The next two names here are Lion Rock, followed by Kampazu. In the North Indian Ocean, after a little Gulab Shaheen storm, the next two names are Jawad, followed by Asani. In the South um, Southern Hemisphere, I was about to say South Australia, but this is the Southern Hemisphere. The next two names are Patty followed by Ruby. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, the next two names are Anna followed by Batsarai. And in the South Pacific, we're watching out for Cody followed by Dovi. Thank you so much for watching this Tropical Weather Bulletin, and we'll have another one tomorrow night.